Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're well. I am well myself. It's late at night or in the morning. So it's, uh, it's just a few minutes to 2 a.m. Uh, we are somewhere charging our vehicle because we are driving. We are, we are driving to Philly, to Philadelphia, uh, to see our daughter. <laughs> yeah, so uh, our son wanted to go see his girlfriend uh, for the weekend and we decided to go together, <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm thinking in a way we are breaking generational curses of fear and lies, yeah. If this was, uh, you know, when we were growing up, we would have lied so much just to go see each other. And I think love should be celebrated, not hindered or manipulated or controlled, you know. Uh, I do believe sometimes you have to advise and guide, but you should always come from a point of uh, care, okay, not selfishness. And uh, yeah, so I'm think I'm just remembering how I once had to go visit my boyfriend <laughs> uh, in college, and I had to lie so much and uh, act like I was going for business. Yeah, and uh, imagine I was, I think I was grown. Yeah, I was done with school, uh, with high school and everything. But yeah, sometimes when you live with parents, you yeah it used to be like that but um you know we try to encourage truth telling and also just accommodate uh the people that our children love and bring around and we feel like it's so important for them to be open as long as they're well behaved and you know they know what we stand for then you know they can love i mean love is beautiful and uh it's no accident that some people meet early. All you can do is just guide and also tell the truth about yourselves and your lives. That way they, you know, they can learn from there, yeah? So yeah, in support of that, we are going to Philly and as he, uh, you know, tours with his girlfriend, we'll do our own tour. Uh, we'll just stay one night, yeah? So he'll get to see her the whole of today and uh, some of tomorrow and then we'll be back We'll come back. It's about six hours drive, yeah? Now with charging, because we use a, an electric vehicle, that will keep us maybe every time for about 30 or more minutes, yeah? So that will be tricky, but it's all good. So that may add up to, you know, one and a half hours of charging. We expect to charge about two times, yeah? If all goes well. When there's traffic, uh, of course, you consume more. Yeah, but we hope to get there early morning uh six to seven will be great yeah and then we'll tour philly uh hubby and i and then yeah we'll we'll see how it goes but i just wanted to share that with you and yeah so we celebrate together the breaking of generational curses of lies and hiding and uh crazy secrets yeah and just to thank God that we are here, you know, it is not uh, that the people before us would have wanted to have secrets and lies. It's just that so much was set against them, yeah, in secrets and all. But anyway, uh, we'll, we hope to enjoy the tour and I'll take you along as much as I can. If you guys love food, I'll show you a bit of the Philly food scene. Maybe I'll get our Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> it's tricky eating when you're traveling because uh, I don't know if it's just for me. Okay, but anyway, I'll take you along and uh, we'll see. Ah, yeah, see you on the next side. We are still charging for another 15 minutes and then we'll be well on our way. I should read instead of... Uh, instead of sleeping, yeah? Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to make an attempt. Come on, and grab attention. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name. Your mind. I've had this book for so long. And I'm just telling myself that I will read because we are on a road trip. History is repeating so much. I went to LD for just one day. Mm -hmm. For just one weekend. Ah, kisuna ka, nini kabisa? 
Uh, New York. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so it's like we say at two and it's four around four thirty. We were almost out of charge and we found this place. The good thing with this vehicle is that it will lead you where to the nearest charger. We had to go off a road a bit, but uh it took us just further ahead in the journey. And it just uh, informs you before all charge runs out. So we'll charge up to 100. And we are at 100. It's 5.11. The charging really takes time. That will cover us for 183 miles until the next charging. But that will be quite far. Still duck outside. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're well. I am well myself. Uh, talking to you from Philly. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we've been on this trip, like I showed, and uh, we've really enjoyed. And more than that, it was just uh, always looking. Uh, what is God's hand in this thing, in this place? Why did we come, right? So we decided to come, but there's always that question. Why did we come? Because like I told you before, we don't go anywhere until unless we feel peace about it and we feel like God is in that thing, okay? So us coming, uh, we thought we are just coming to bring our child to enjoy a weekend with his girlfriend, but it turns out uh, there was more, okay? And this more is what I like to share here, just so that you can see God's hand and just know that life is spiritual and, uh, you know, uh, God is very intentional in everything that he does, yeah? And uh, every time you doubt that God cares or loves you, uh, you will know that there's so much that goes into just making you into the strong person that he wills for you to be, okay? Yeah, so yesterday, of course, after we delivered the guy, he was so quick <laughs> to see us out, right? So, yeah, we, we had to go, you know, look for a room, and uh you know a place to eat also so we had a lot of time and so we settled and start started touring so we didn't go far before we st saw this uh cute place yeah and we thought we could stop by and see what they have uh for for food yeah and uh so when we went there, we saw this guy, right? So this guy was at the counter and whenever, because he was ahead of us, we, we let him be served first. But whenever this guy, you know, uh, asked him what he needs, 
he would say, I'm trying to work out this, uh, my account situation or something. And he had a lot of uh, luggage. So anyway, because it's a train station, that is very normal. So we thought maybe uh, he can't access Wi-Fi or something. He's looking for a hotspot, which there is, you know, at the train station. But you have to, like, pay uh, some money. Yeah. So this guy had very good luggage. You know, the kind you see this person is well put together, very good luggage. He's looking also very nice and clean. Uh, you know, so we didn't think there was a problem. So we checked what we could eat uh, and they wanted to try something there. They didn't really have the kind of food we eat, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to try these fries. After all, it's Philly, you know, so a lot of good food, yeah um yeah so i ordered and then uh we went to sit down it's, it's like a, a tiny kiosk um that people just pass, pass by and they have like a food uh truck yeah so it's just a place of production and then there's a place you can sit and eat your food but in the outside area so we sit there still taking photos just looking around looking at the tra at the trains come and go and no sooner had we sat uh can be no sooner because <laughs> anyway so uh we hear this guy now crying and he went on and he was howling guys he had this like cry from the belly he was groaning and we were like what what's what's happening okay now we had noticed as this guy was serving us the the, the guy who works there a very young guy we had noticed that he was very kind, even when he was serving us, yeah? So uh, he went and started talking to the guy, and we were like, ah, he got him, okay? So he, he talked to him for a while, and uh, the guy, of course, that stopped crying, and they talked and, and talked for a bit. So when he came uh, to bring our food, I asked him, is the guy okay? We were very, very concerned. And we said if he needs uh, a hotspot to connect his phone, so he can access his account so we can you know we can share a hotspot i was like oh yeah the guy is in um he's very miserable he just he was just escorted out by his girlfriend who was bearing a gun and uh, he's crying so much because now he can't see his son and he's not from here he's from jamaica and so him being out like that is just so terrible for him but he has no choice he had to go he had to leave the house so he's crying about his son crying about the way the the, the woman uh, or the wife has treated him yeah and so we were like hey wow that is uh, so much uh, do you have wi-fi at least he needs to access his account and get his situation sorted and he says, yeah, I, I can share a hotspot uh, with him, but I also offered him a place to stay. Like this guy was young. So we were like, wow, you've gone beyond, you know. And uh, so as he's leaving, uh, we, we said, uh, is there a way, like, can you ask him if he wants to talk to us? And uh, so we can say a prayer with him, you know, just for his peace and just so that he knows that he's being seen. Yeah, like we see him and we understand i said sure so he went and talked to the guy the guy came to us very willingly yeah like we did have to coerce or something and um you know so we 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 listened to him you know we got the basics because you know it's one side of the story right and uh, having done this journey you know it's important to have two sides of the story but then at this age you know whether a story is true or not right yeah you can be conned and all that but it was a very similar story the migration story yeah so somebody will come from abroad uh maybe they have a, a boyfriend uh in the country and so they convinced this guy please come abroad come be with me let us take it this relationship over there because there are so many more opportunities so from what we learned from the guy he's been in Jamaica and he was doing well he was uh, he had his own business it was coming up right it was growing and then because uh, the girl got pregnant with the back and forth she would come visit him and everything uh, he eventually thought really I should be with my family okay but the kid was born here and the mom would go visit like um, when the baby was small, uh, they, they visited and he was like really torn. Like, I can't let my son grow away from me like this. 
but when they came back yeah after she visited with the baby when they came back to the states the baby caught covid so he was like that's it i'm closing this business i'm closing everything i have to be where my child is i can't lose my child why can't he lose his child because his dad left when he was about six years and he's been torn over it yeah so he knew there's no way uh, my son is growing up without a father right so in a way he's trying to break the generational curses yeah and he talks a bit about how uh the mom uh, he would be so bitter you know that the dad left him didn't care didn't love him and the mom would say no forgive your dad because even in the times that he left in the times that he was small there were no phones you know so he could even keep us updated on what is happening so you are better off okay the good thing is that his mom is uh you know in the states yeah but a different state even then she was trying to reach him uh she was trying to call him he couldn't talk so we were like uh you don't want to talk to the person who is that my mom i i can't talk to her uh do you want to eat no i can't stand the sight of food i can't do anything i just feel so bad right and so me being me <laughs> i started talking about you know uh, the brokenness right and so uh my god it was so ideal that my husband was there so we could tell him about our separation story yeah and the fact that sometimes you have to be separated to actually win the very people that uh you, you have that you love right so it's like we're making it clear it seems that you can't be with your son right now and maybe they live and make up by the end of the day but like it was so important that we tell him sometimes even though you love your child even though you love this person uh when it becomes heated like this uh sometimes instead of losing life god will allow for you to be separated and now you have to see you know how god has made a way for you you came here somebody is offering you uh, some room and board you know uh, a complete stranger and uh, we see you we see you crying we want to talk to you you know and so we talk for a long time about uh, you know how uh, brokenness happens yeah <laughs> just like i've told you guys from genesis verse one right uh, chapter one verse one god made earth it was beautiful it was everything if god made something that it is complete and then in verse 2 uh we see the world is now void and uh you know the situation is just so bad it's like the earth you know is mixed up with the water it's a murky situation it's like a swamp right and so uh being in that situation still the spirit of god hovers over the deep right and so we talk about that we talk about you know broken jars especially the Chinese broken jars. I'm so sure I'll share this story here, where if a jar, a ceramic jar breaks, you don't mend it with mud, it can't stick, okay? So like the Chinese will mend it with what? Gold, right? M uh, molten gold. And so we talk about Isaiah 54. Uh, I bet you were wondering <laughs> where, when I will bring that up. Yeah, so we talk about how when you're broken, you know, when you're married young, because you have not fully developed, you're a young person, you do not even know what to offer this girl or what she's actually looking for, okay? A person, especially a woman who's been abroad and has been awoken, uh, you know, has come into her power, uh, even her communication is so different from yours, who is coming from another country. Yes, your work, you're grown, you know what you're doing. You're a grown man, you have everything that takes to even lead a home, right? But you will not get this chance because now you have to adjust to the life here. Uh, before you're fully settled, it, it, it's very tough, especially if you're not meeting this woman's expectation. When she brought you from your home country, she's expecting that you're going to become this great help, right? But you have also your ideas. And like my like my husband was putting it here, yeah, we come with a lot of expectations, right? So we don't understand how much the people who came before us had to work to establish themselves, the things that they had to learn, we come and get cushioned by them, right? So everything that we, we need, all these uh, government offices, all things to get registered, all, everything, they make it so much easier for, for us than they had, right? And even if they had it easier, when they tell you, Nan, this is it, and you have to get adjusted in this way, we are like, this is too much, right? And of course, it's more, uh, it's harder than that. It's more painful, right? Uh, but yeah, it becomes so difficult whenever we start working. 
and it is so tough especially if god is training us through something and this uh the person that brought you doesn't understand all they wanted is help right a uh, man who will be working so she can work less or even if she has to work more and you have to take the kid to daycare whatever it takes yeah but they want production they want you know to have the double the money they were making yeah they want to make their life easier get established you know get into retirement but everything is a process and i think that is the hardest part yeah and so uh i think of the the most important thing for me was to tell this guy that uh no matter what goes on it has to be a process okay so we touch a bit on our story and how it took seven years for us to even join hubby but in that time he was developing himself in a way that you know uh he could earn respect right and so sometimes without uh you know earning your position as a man you will not get respected even by the woman you love right and she'll feel like she's carrying the heavier burden and yet she doesn't know uh you know what it is like to be in your shoes right so this is a double edged sword whatever you're doing it ha it will cut both ways right but it's very important that uh you know you feel like you had accomplished up to a point yeah but until you get adjusted to this country the way they had to you know and just make carve something out for yourself it is very important even the child you're worried about will not respect you until you've grown to a point where you know you can father them with knowledge or you can mother them with knowledge right the best thing about god is that he keeps giving us chances so we'll grow uh, come into our own you know uh, be able to not only financially afford this child but even have the wisdom to grow them again we all come from like we said uh backgrounds but what do we have in common uh that some years ago some generation ago we were living under a curse because of what we came into agreement with right so under this curse whatever you even your gener the generation before you uh went through uh say your parents and even the parents before them whatever they went through whatever they agreed with whatever the challenges you will ha have a taste of that yeah even though god would be uh, you know making it easier for you by relocation right by uh you know giving you perhaps a more understanding person or whatever whatever it is you'll have to have a taste of that it's a bit of uh, pill to swallow but you're moving ahead what they had to go through was perhaps so us and even through growth and maturity they understood each other so by the time you're seeing uh you know you're understanding these things yourself and you're petitioning your parents perhaps like why were you so patient you know with this person you know you should have left them they already went through the process and they knew they know why they were so understanding to their spouses you know if they actually got to keep them or even if they left yeah they're like it was so tough for us then okay so you're way ahead and even though you see the you see and feel the pain still you're way ahead right so you work you can work this situation out you know and through god's mercies perhaps he'll bring you to a better place and you'll be able to settle but the pain will be felt so that you learn and also now make different choices yeah and different choices you will make because god is guiding you to that place of breaking through right so a lot of revelation will come and you'll be more open to learning you know more open to this revelation so that deliverance can come and uh, even if you don't get the whole healing, your children might, okay? So you advise them better because you see it. And uh, they say, what an elder person can see seated, a young man can, cannot see standing, right? So they've been through it all. And if a young man is able to open their eyes or go through that pain so that you eventually open your eyes, meaning that you see the revelation, then deliverance will come, yeah? So uh, maybe the guy understood we had to we drove in from massachusetts that morning you know and it was amazing that we got to meet him and with everything else it, it is so beautiful here right but we felt oh we i mean there's no way you know what a chance that we got to meet this guy in a random train station you know but uh we just hope that you know god will do the rest because uh god works with a word right so we hope that that word will be enduring. It was too too much, yeah, for for a small session. But we hope that you know something 
he got something and anyway whatever he's going to encounter in his journey that you know the, some of the things he had and maybe he couldn't uh, remember because it was too much will keep loading or he will keep hearing you know uh, preachings and he'd remember you know a word and of course sometimes it is just a seed and then there'll be somebody else to continue with a good work right yeah so i wanted to share that with you because it was so miraculous with us and i just hope that we can all learn from all these experiences and stop hurting each other or go grow through uh, all these uh, teachings and wisdom that comes from all these sources that god wants you to hear from all right be blessed i'll see you in the next one uh bye bye